All right, what's up guys, Larry here. Friday leg day and starting off with a hip hinge movement, of course, uh, the Romanian deadlift. So there's a couple of different reasons why you should do the Romanian deadlift. Uh, the main reason why is if that if you're trying to improve your posterior chain, this is a chain, this is one of the movements that you should do, especially if we're talking glute and hamstring development. Uh, for back development, it really depends upon how you start the movement. Um, the way that we're going to do it today is that we're trying to bias the glutes and the hamstrings. So there's going to be a couple of different cues that you'll hear me uh, say throughout the video, and you'll see me perform the movement a certain way. Now with hip hinge movements, as far as uh, the loading goes, and we'll get into that, uh, the strength comes very fast but your technique has to be dialed in because the last thing you want to do is that you don't want to throw out your back when you're doing a movement like this. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to show you some of the finer points and we'll talk loading. We'll talk sets. We'll talk reps, warmups, all that good stuff. So let's get to it. All right. I got a sick kid home. So if you hear any screaming or anything like that in cartoons in the background, that's what I'm blaming it on. So anyway, starting out with the Romanian deadlift today, or that day rather, started out with an empty bar. It was rather cold outside. So if you're dealing in colder climate places, I always start with the bar. And one thing you wanna do is you wanna get your movement pattern down. You wanna kinda of get your feet set where is gen where they're generally going to be. They don't have to be in the exact spot that you're gonna start your pull from. And what you wanna emphasize is that you wanna push your butt back. You wanna get a good stretch in the hamstrings. This is not a contraction exercise, okay? So this is gonna be a little bit different when you begin doing it, okay? This is a stretching movement, so obviously you wanna stretch at the same time. So as I'm doing this with the bar only, I'm trying to dip down to where the bar almost touches the floor. Obviously, I'm not accomplishing that, but that is the goal. I'm not that flexible, but I try to stay in a really good active range of motion and go from there. Now, what I want you to also pay attention to is how I'm setting up, all right? So I got a bit of a rounded back right now, um, but that is going to change in the next second or two. What you're gonna do, what you're gonna see me do is that I'm going to right here, see how my back is perpendicular to the floor pretty much. That's where I'm going to initiate the pull. That's where you should initiate the pull at. And you should definitely already have your hamstrings engaged, your glutes ready to go as the bar comes up. You're going to do reps and you're going to push your hips forward, but you're gonna keep your hamstrings engaged the whole time. So notice, slow eccentric, perpendicular, and that is what you want for the entirety of your sets. I had to go back to my powerlifting background with this particular exercise. The way that you set up is paramount to how the exercise will be performed and how you want to maintain your bracing, how you want to maintain tension all throughout the movement. The slow eccentric will help you out on this exercise, but it's very important that you start, it's very important that you perform the exercise the way that you start. So as you can see, I'm getting my feet set. I'm trying to connect with my hamstrings on a mental mind muscle connection, guys. Let's remember that. I'm trying to connect with my hamstrings. I'm slowly going down to the bar and I'm gonna grab it at a grip that's just outside of shoulder width. And then I'm gonna pull up, slow eccentric, perpendicular. Notice how I'm pushing the glutes back. That's something that you want to do when you want to emphasize hamstring development and glute development. Another thing that I want you guys to understand, too, is that you don't have to be like me and touch the floor. All right. I've just seen a lot of trained by JP videos where I am touching the floor, where he is touching the floor. So I try to emulate that as well. By no means is that necessary, uh, but you need to do the movement to where you get a good stretch in the hamstrings, okay? Again, it is paramount that you start the way you want all of your sets to go. So please ensure that you do that to maintain correct form, maintain tension on the muscle, and make sure that you have everything in place because once you commit to the pull, that's it. Like once that bar breaks the floor, that is it. You're pulling it up. Quick note on progressions, okay? Start out with the bar, then I did 25s, that set wasn't filmed. Then I went to 135, 175, 
And what you want to do is that your first set, your first uh, active warm-up set is, is your high rep movement, right? That's what you want to make sure that you're doing for reps. Your second one, your third one, and if you need be your fourth one, those are feeler sets. So those need to be low reps until you work down to a quick single, okay? Uh, also, quick note on the belt. Always use a belt for this exercise, okay? I'm using an Elite FTS uh, old school powerlifting belt. Not as thick as, uh, I believe that's not 13 millimeter. It may or may not be, I'm not sure. Uh, but that's the one that I generally use or the style that I generally use. The belt helps, but it's not necessary if you have a strong enough core. I've done this exercise beltless uh, for a pretty decent weight, 365 uh, for reps. So, but in any event, Again, notice how I'm setting up, doing it the same way as I did it at the beginning of the video with 135. Now I'm just strapped up. Again, your first warm up set needs to be high rep, and then the subsequent sets needs to be a little bit lower until you work to a triple or a single or anything like that. Here is my first work set. I did another set with 405, and then on the next set, you'll see that I PR'd uh, on this lift for one rep. So guys, uh, I'm going to replay this clip, clip and we're going to go through uh, some of the stuff that I have explained to you. All right, let's run this back. Set up, making sure my feet are screwed into the ground, uh, for lack of a better term. Bending over, making sure I'm strapped up. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pull the bar close to me. I'm going to have my back perpendicular to the floor, slow eccentric making sure I push my butt back and then I'm going to explode back up. Once you master the form on this exercise, it's a really good one where the strength will come very, very fast. So please be aware of that. Now on this next clip, I put everything together for a pretty good single and then we just go from there. on the coaching this morning finish the rest of my leg workout but hopefully you got some tips some tricks to do uh romanian deadlifts your next session so please if you have any questions reach out comment i'll attach some other stuff that has helped me in the description down below but until then y'all kick some ass and have a wonderful weekend